With the running of the 2022 event, the Donegal Motor Club and the hill climb community could finally celebrate together the 50th anniversary of the first Nogala hill climb, which began in 1970. Sadly, in 2021, the event's stalwart leader for decades, Danny Gormley, passed away. So the event restarts in fitting tribute to a man who made a huge contribution to motorsport in the northwest, titled the Danny Gormley Memorial Nogala Hill Climb. On that first running of the Nogala Hill Climb, PJ Will Hare suffered an infamous accident on a long left-hander below the two hairpins. He was injured and spent months recovering, but returned to compete a year later, discovering the feature now known as Will Hare's Corner and frequently referred to as such in subsequent hill climbs and the International Rally that also uses this route. PJ returned in 2022 to flag away this year's competitors. With all this local history in the air, it was fitting then that the weather conditions favoured many local rally drivers who would come to support the event, and indeed Donegal's Kevin Gallagher in his mid-engined rear-wheel drive Darien T90 was the winner on Saturday. I caught up with him Sunday afternoon. The conditions suit, suited yesterday and uh, the, um, just the single-seaters, the, the rain hindered them a little bit. The weather was consistently wet all day, so there wasn't one dry run superseding all the others. He was delighted with the home win local to here so uh, no it's, ni it's nice to get it like it's not uh, it's not something you'll always get in a, a rally car like uh, as a hill claim one so no it's lovely the darian was running in full rally spec it's it's one of, it's one of my own uh, 2.5 yb's in it so uh, no it's 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 pretty as i say it's pretty similar spec to to my own car just uh, a few little tweaks uh, really to get it where i wanted it to be in dry weather on sunday he was fifth overall with three single seaters ahead enjoying their slick tires again I should have probably had more tyres with me, we kind of just came with what we thought this morning, so I oh know it's fine, luck we weren't, I don't think it would have made a big difference in the end anyway, but uh, just it dried up a lot more than we expected. Kevin's closest competition over the weekend came from four-wheel drive Subarus. Initially it was Ryan Murray, just under two seconds back on round one, but by the final run three it was Shane Bell who surpassed him into second overall, less than three seconds in arrears. When he started hill climbing, I don't think Shane ever thought he'd be this close to the sharp end. Yeah, the wet suit was me yesterday, it was great. Um, four wheel drive was, was, was nice and I uh, felt comfortable in the car, so I let it out there in the last couple of runs and worked out well, yeah. If I, if I, if I got a Ford run, I would have had a scalp for it, all right, yeah. I was get, just getting comfortable, I was making up time and starting to piece it together. He was mostly focused on the battle for Class 3B. Damien Walsh had a fantastic drive yesterday, I don't know how he did that in that car. He's well ahead in points, so I think I have to get maximum next weekend. Shane was ninth overall on Sunday. Ryan Murray was the fastest saloon on Sunday in fourth overall. Fourth on Saturday had gone to Ned Doherty in the speed car. Ned was tenth on Sunday with the resurgent single seaters filling up the top ten. Overall championship contender John Donnelly was the best of the single seaters in the wet conditions Saturday. Fifth placed at the end of the day, almost a second and a half ahead of championship leader Chris Houston, and a long way up the leaderboard. On Sunday, they were both on top of the timesheets, but it was still Donnelly leading the way, but expecting a late surge from Houston, he refused to believe he'd won when Chris came to congratulate him after what would be the final third run. The victory was all the more surprising for camera shy John, as he just pushed his car back to the paddock with a flywheel problem. As the fastest individual up the hill on the weekend, and fastest over the two days, his name would go on the Danny Gormley Perpetual Shield that the former COC's partner Elizabeth would keep, the John Leinster Cup, and he would receive the new Danny Gormley Memorial Trophy and glassware for the Sunday to add to a class award Saturday. Chris Houston paid tribute to Donnelly's achievement. Oh, he, he thoroughly deserves it, I must say. Um, I think he was sort of expecting me to come up with a sort of, you know, a last minute run there, but it just didn't happen today. It was just one of those days, but he deserves it. Like, he's driven brilliantly all year. From our roadside calculations, it looked to us like the championship will go down to the Connacht rounds. Yeah, I think there's a point or two in it, so theoretically, as far as I can see, I think John can still win it. Uh, you know, if I have a mechanical failure or any other sort of issue during the weekend, like maybe what happened yesterday, for example. He's looking forward to that event, as are we. Yeah, I think it should be good. I mean, I've been there last year and had, had a great time. I hope it doesn't rain like it did last year. Another dry day would be great. Third place overall on the second day went to Stephen Robb in a Jedi. He braved the conditions to eighth overall the previous day. William McFadden showed no fear of the weather on his way to fifth place in his G3 Escort Saturday and made the top ten again Sunday with ninth. 
Podrick Egan made a welcome return to hill climbing after his unfortunate role in Clare at the beginning of the season and was rewarded with 7th overall in the wet. Ben O'Brien is metaphorically dipping his toes in the water of single seater driving on hills. Not literally, so he sat out the first day and waited for the dry tarmac. He acquitted himself well, 6th overall in the ex Joe Courtney car which has won this hill a number of times in the past. Gerald O'Connell was 7th overall in his lightweight Mark 1 Escort on day 2. Seamus Morris was tempted out for this historic weekend in his single seater but very unfortunately crashed after the finish on the second run Sunday. Luckily he was unharmed but his car had taken a knock claiming 8th overall. Damien Walsh was out in a newer RT supercar and was very happy to complete the top 10 on Saturday. The varied conditions each day made no difference to the top results in Class 1. Dara Fay continued his clean sweep of maximum class points which must make him class champion. Ray Cunningham has taken all the second places and must have taken that position likewise. There's more to and fro between Elaine Kerwin and Patrick Spain however for third in the class championship. Pat took the position on Saturday in the Civic and Elaine took it on Sunday in her Starlet. Francis Dempsey was the only Cento entrant but mechanical problems meant he never recorded a time. Aidan Courtney is the record holder in the class from 2015. Thomas Sheedy won class 2 in the Honda Civic both days, double driving with Joe Clifford who was third the first day and second the next. Stephen Cafferty joined the class for the weekend collecting a second and a fourth in a generation older Civic. Gary Graham in a weekend off from boss racing was fourth and second in the Peugeot 205 while Gerald Lunigan who normally shares the car is smuggling on holidays looking back at the Irish weather. Tommy Gardner is back on form in class 3A after an extraordinary last minute effort due to parts delays straightening the nose of his Civic after a shunt in Limerick. First in class in the rain and second in the sun. He flipped positions with Brian Kerwin's rear wheel drive Peugeot who took a second and a first. Desi Martin in a Civic Type R was third on Saturday while John Kennedy enjoyed a better day for sports cars on Sunday for that position then. In addition to their overall positions, Shane Bell and Damien Walsh were first and second in Class 3B Saturday with Gerald O'Connell third in the space framed Mark 1 Escort. Ryan Murray won on Sunday ahead of Gerald and Shane. While Ned Doherty took maximum points in Class 3C each day, Billy White sat in to Rory Stevens' silhouette Mark 1 Escort and very narrowly beat the car's experienced owner by 0.15 of a second. This very special event drew out some very historic cars. Stephen Kelly was the fastest of these on scratch in his Malik both days. Trevor McElroy was second on Saturday in an Austin Healy Sprite. Mike Nugent took a third and a second over the two days in a Lotus Elan. George Johnson braved the elements in an Austin 7. At least the narrow tyres would cut through the water. Andy Johnson's results appeared in a different class but he showed great commitment in the Alfa Romeo as always. In class 5 Owen Kelly set a very impressive pace in the wet over 4.5 seconds faster than championship regular Sean McNamara who edged out class championship leader Enda Byrne in the tricky conditions. Enda had a spin into the hedge but emerged unscathed after a little push from the spectators. Back on dry tarmac on the second day Enda re-established himself ahead of Sean with whom I had a quick chat on Sunday evening. Playing catch up today but yesterday uh, we just had uh, the edge on him which was uh, which was good, but Enda's, he's hard to keep up with, he's there laughing at me in the background, but now he's a hard chap to keep with, Enda dry, so I was happy enough of where I am today. They run a controlled tyre in all conditions, which helps keep the cost down. It makes it easier, alright, but we just have to put up with what we have. He's enjoying the championship so far. First season at it now, and it's, uh, it's great, the lads are a great help, like Enda there is a big help along the way, in fairness to him. Um, he, he doesn't uh, hide anything, he, he's a he is a good help, so it's good to have the competition with him here. John Mahan in the DJ was second in class 6 each day, behind Stephen Robb who did so well overall. Not only was John Donnelly the fastest man on the hill, but his daughter was the fastest woman, taking third in class 6 both days with the Reynard SF80. Chris Houston had to be content with his second in class 7 on Saturday, behind John Donnelly, and no overall award. Their class positions matched their overall results Sunday of course and Ben O'Brien was third. Seamus Anderson was double class winner of 8A in the Ford Anglia with Andy Purser playing runner up again both days in the Peugeot 205. They were joined by Stephen Walsh who seemed to enjoy the conditions in his Mark II Escort. 
Class Championship 8B leader Andy Farmer held off an onslaught of locals on Saturday. He had to give way to Seamus Brown Civic on Sunday, but it wasn't for the want of trying. Martin McLaughlin was third both days in a Talbot Sunbeam, and Brian McGarrahy was second on Saturday with a Mark II Escort. Jack Deegan also did a great job upholding hill climb honour in the rain with his Peugeot 205 on Saturday. Sean Lillis was fastest on Sunday in a Mark II Escort, while Patrick Bonner was second both days in another example. Thomas McGlinchey was determined to get the rear of the Chevette out on his way to third each time. Christopher Snow upheld regular hill climber honour as well in Class 9B both days in the Honda Civic. Seamus Heron took second both days in the Mark 1 Escort ahead of James McDermott double driving the Chevette with Thomas McGlinchey on Saturday and Chris Snow double driving the Civic. The Donegal Motor Club liked to run a few extra classes to fit in their club drivers. Class 10 went to the event winner Kevin Gallagher in the Darien both days. Joey Lyons collected Class 11 both days in a Ford Fiesta. Class 12 was won by Ronan Green both days in a Vauxhall Nova. John Dolan was double winner in a Mark II in Class 13. In addition to excellent overall results, Barry McLaughlin took the wins in a very competitive Class 14 with the Mark I Escort, while William McFadden did likewise in Class 16 with the G3. Ivan Stewart took Class 17 at BMW M3, a rally car that brings back great memories of Fisher and McHale in Donegal. Class 18 included Andy Johnson in the Alfa Romeo and Shane Kenny's Mark II on Saturday and was headed by Michael Nutt on Sunday in a Fiesta. It was great to see this event return to the calendar with all its history. Often the finale to the Irish Hill Climb and Sprint Championship, but in 2022 we finish in Drumahair County Leitrim, hosted by the Connacht Motor Club on the 17th and 18th of September, after a successful event in 2021.